Hey everybody, Coke Man 250 here. And this is a video response for Wayne's Homestead. He's doing, he wants to see us cook something. He wants to see a recipe. Well, I did a video about smoking country style ribs about four or five years ago on my channel. I'll put a link to that right here. And you can click that little information circle. But, uh, I got some country style ribs. And then I got strawberries, shake on barbecue seasoning. Now it's the same thing I used all those years ago. And uh, today, instead of using them on a charcoal smoker or a wood smoker like I did last time, you know, I got that electric smoker for Christmas. We're gonna electric smoke these things in the electric smoker. So uh, these things are still a little bit frozen that's okay because uh, that thing's like a big oven and we're gonna pile these things on top of each other and everything else in there no signs we're just gonna pile them in there but I put this on pretty liberal and I'm gonna let these set here for about 30 45 minutes thaw out just a little bit let that seasoning kind of soak up in there we're gonna go out and look at the smoker. I'm getting it ready right now. All right, so here's the smoker I'm gonna be using. It's just a charbroil electric smoker. And uh, it's got a water pan down in there, three racks, and uh, it's got a little smoke box there on the side. All right, so I got all the, the uh, ribs in here, country style ribs. I also put a little piece of pork loin in here. I'm gonna put some water in a water bowl. Since these are Arkansas style, suey. All right, man, what we're using for the, uh, I actually picked these up. Traeger, they're the wood pellets, hickory. And as you can see, I bought them on clearance. $5.99 for this box, so. We're just gonna fill our box up All right. put the lid on it All right, there it is and we'll probably fill that wood pellet box up another time during all this we'll probably smoke these about six hours uh we're gonna start out a little bit high to get the smoke going and then we'll cut it down to where we're smoking at about i don't know i'm gonna say 200 ish all right so i know the first of this video is a little jumpy i had some camera issues switch cameras anyway it's about about two hours in and I actually just added some new ones on that bottom shelf down there. I uh, just didn't think I'd have enough. There's two of the new ones right there. Look at that beautiful goodness. Oh yeah. So I know uh, if you're looking, you're not cooking when you're smoking, but uh, for video purposes, we're gonna pretend that that didn't just happen. All right, so here's what I do with the sauce, okay? I buy this in bulk, it's Head Country Barbecue Sauce. I take a two cup measuring cup. That didn't work like a plan, but anyway, I'm gonna put about a cup. About a cup of sauce. Just use your your go-to sauce. And then a cup of vinegar. 
I like a vinegar based sauce. A lot of folks don't. It's probably more like a two thirds of a cup. And then I put some more of this uh, rub. Mix it with a fork. There it is. I'm going to go ahead and pour these over them and let them set in the fridge overnight in this. And then we'll plug up the old roaster oven in the morning and let them slow simmer until uh, church is out. All right. And this thin vinegary sauce also is going to help these things not dry out. while they're slow cooking in this roaster oven while we're at church. And these ribs won't be a, uh, they won't be a real saucy rib. So I kind of like dry, but you can add a little bit more sauce. Most of this sauce is just gonna run straight to the bottom and put a little bit of a glaze on top. But when it runs to the bottom, it'll sit there and steam. Make these things fall right off the bone. Oh yeah. All right, so there they are. In the fridge for the night, ready to go night night. Well, so there it is, Wayne. Sorry you didn't get to see the uh, the uh, taste test, but I had a lot of folks over, and the part where I'm putting the sauce on those, those are ready to eat right then. And most of the time, besides Easter, we normally just, they're ready to eat. We eat. But uh, we have a lot of people over, and instead of me smoking them and doing all that Sunday morning and rushing around Easter morning. I always do it the day before. And that's why they go in the roaster oven. And then they just, I put it on the lowest setting. And then while we're at church, it, you know, it brings them back to temperature, keeps them warm. <clears throat> and it will tender them up a little bit, kind of like, uh, like, uh, in a crock pot. But, uh, there it is. You know, I, I found your channel through J Noel and uh i've really been enjoying it so keep going keep up the good work and uh this coke man 250 from the land of the free and the home of the brave god bless everybody and remember prep smarter and pray harder and i'm going to put uh wayne's channel right up here in the info either that corner or this corner click the info he'll be there check him out all right so i got you a playlist here and it's how I built my cedar raised garden bed. Spring's right around the corner, and this may give you some ideas on how to build your own and just enough inspiration to go ahead and get it knocked out so you'll be ready for that springtime planting. If you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, go ahead and click that subscribe now banner. As always, thanks for watching, and have a blessed day.